Well, we're all set to go out for a motorcycle ride. Yippee! We got a helmet. Check. We got a riding jacket. Full body armor. Check. We got our riding gloves with the knuckle guards. Check. Boots, jeans, we're all set to go. Well, hold on a minute. We have to check our motorcycle first. Pre-trip inspection, very, very important. Especially if you're a new rider and you're not real familiar with what you need to go through and check, I'm just gonna run through a couple of things, tell you a couple of things you need to do. Very first thing you need to do, check your tires. Tires are so important. Your life rides on those tires. So look them over. Make sure you got plenty of tread. Make sure there's nothing stuck in them. They're not coming apart in some way. And check the, the tire pressure. Make sure they're up to the tire to the manufacturer's uh, recommendations for your tire pressure. You don't want them overinflated. You don't want them underinflated. Get them at the right inflation level. Next, you need to walk around and go to your chain if you have a chain drive or a belt drive. Inspect it. Make sure that it's good. Make sure that there's nothing coming apart. Your master link, if you have a chain, isn't coming apart. The clip's on good. Just look it over and make sure it's lubricated. And uh, how often do you lubricate it? Well, they recommend every 500 miles. Now, if you think about it, 500 miles isn't that many, but it does need to be done. It's critical to the life of the chain. And make sure the tension on the chain is good as well. You don't want a chain that's too tight and you don't want a chain that's too loose. Follow your owner's manual and see what it says for a uh, recommendation on your slack on your chain. You need to go over and check all your fasteners on your bike. Make sure everything's good, nothing's loose, especially the handlebars. Make sure that these handlebars are good and tight. You don't have anything loose on that. And then just check the other fasteners. Make sure they're good. Check the motorcycle oil. Make sure that your level is good. You don't want your, your level to be too low, you don't want your level to be too high. Again, you want it to be at the correct level. So make sure that's good. And make sure your seat is tight. Now that sounds kind of crazy, but there are some bikes out there that has a key that you have to unlock your seat and it just has a latch mechanism. It's not bolts that's holding it. It just kind of slides in, has a latch mechanism that holds it. Well, sometimes whenever you put it in, you think you got it snapped in, it's not, and you start doing a little bit of aggressive riding and your seat comes loose. So just make sure you're getting a little tug, make sure your seat's good and tight. And um, then you gotta make sure that your electrical system is good. So you need to turn on your ignition, make sure your lights are good and bright and everything works, your headlights work, turn signals work, your horns works, everything works. A good idea to do would be to install something like this. It's a charger for your phone or, you know, you can use it for your GPS, but it's also got a little window here for voltage, battery voltage. And whenever you turn the key on, it'll show you how many volts are in your battery. And once you start the engine, it'll show you the charging voltage as well. Very good to have. These things are only like, I don't know, 12 or $15. They're not very much. They're really a, a good thing to have on your bike. Then you want to sit on your bike and make sure everything feels good. Look at your mirrors. Make sure your mirrors are adjusted and everything feels right to you. Once everything's good, you can see your sight glass. Make sure your brake fluid's good and uh, up to snuff. And once everything looks good and checks out, you're ready to go. Hit the road. So have fun out there. Be safe. Be careful.